Back row ministry, the world for me, Mr. Maka coming back at you live and direct. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about some of the symbolism that you've been seeing um, inside of uh, this whole scripted race, racial tension um, narrative or agenda, just another part of the coronavirus ritual and See the picture with Trump posing with the Bible, which is a scripted stage picture. Still trying to see what I see. You see the finger pointing one way, the hand up. And um, I got to find that pose. I've seen that pose before with the book in the hand. I looked at the, the airport mural, tried to see something that might have resembled that. Didn't really see anything that resembled, but I got to look again a little bit closer. So definitely... Uh, a pose in the picture, a Masonic pose in the picture. And one thing I saw in the background was the writing. So I tried to get as much as I could, and I took Sunday services online, all are welcome. And then everything else starts to get blurry. So Sunday services online, all are welcome. And you see the pose. And this is the picture that Trump took after they so-called tear gas the protesters in front of the church so he can take this scripted picture and you see in the picture he's got the black book in his right hand he's got the black book which is supposed to be the bible in his right hand but the symbolism of the black book so we know that black books usually have names in it or keep names in it you know you got your little black book with all the names in it names and numbers in it contact information so he's got the black book in his right hand with all the information in it, be it the Bible, which has the information of revelation and prophecy in there. And if you remember that before Prince passed, he talked about all you can go by is prophecy. So Prince, you know, Mr. Purple Rain himself, a major part of this ritual, you know, left tidbits of what was going to take place and kind of got out of here right before it hit. Remember now we had all this event going on in the Twin Cities, and you know a lot of a lot of stuff going on. So Prince said you had to go by prophecy. So let me spell prophecy, right? Because that's not how you spell prophecy. All right. So prophecy is 106 52, 38, 29. You'll see as a part of prophecy 65, just some of the numbers. And I'll bring it down here spelled correctly okay so I put Sunday services online all are welcome in the in the calculator of course you get 144 so we know that this is a hunt for the 144 so it's kind of that signal kind of signaling the hunt he's got the black book and that black book has the names of the 144 of those that they know they have to round up because it's a roundup job. That's why so much is going on in Pacific cities. I put Kill Bantu, which is 30. Um, so, you know, that was a big piece. I got that 144. Got that 144. Okay. And we also try to look for other numbers inside of that. But that 144 was a big number. If you take Kill Bantu, go to Kill Bantu. Kill Bantu is 144. So Sunday services online, all are welcome. It was the code for Kill Bantu. And you see in the city, now all of a sudden they have it arranged where now Bantu, the people of color, are killing each other. So they got us doing that dirty work for them. Our black book is 72, 27, 45, 54 with the black book, 29. 22, 102, and we go up top, prophecy is 45, black book is 45, see the relation, 45, prophecy at the top, prophecy is 45, so the vibration with prophecy in the black book, which is the prophecy of revelation, so if you read revelation, you'll read about the trumpet, you'll read about 
you know, the signs of the so-called end, which is not the end, which is just another omega. So the alpha omega ritual, which is the end of uh, one way of life and beginning of the new. But the Bantu or the, 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 uh, those of color who are, who have been chosen, the true children of Israel are a big part of revelation. And these people go by revelation. So they believe in the book. They believe in the black book. They believe in the black book. You get the 666 number. 666 is also a number of prophecy. So what they try to teach you is 666 is a number of the beast. No, 666 is also a number of prophecy. So they try to paint it like it's a bad number. It's just a number. Okay. Online. You see online is 33. That's where they made put that in the picture. All our welcome is 53. And that kind of vibrates with for our 53 vibration. Our 25, 53, 51, 23, 107. So got a lot of vibration just for some of the stuff in that picture. But prophecy was a vibration with that black book and a kill bantu um vibrating with um Sunday service online at the one with the one forty four was a big piece I got out of that picture and just him posing with the picture. So like we say, this is a hunt for the one forty four. That's what it's about. He's got the black book. Now he's boasting that he has information. So the black book and information he's following prophecy. So he's got that book in his hands showing that pointing right at the book. Or pointing that finger pointed that he's following prophecy. He's following prophecy. So big time Mason is um Donald Trump and a big time um ritual follower. So he follows ritual to the T. And that's all he is. He's just there to follow the ritual. So all he's doing is following the ritual. So we go to Chicago. We talk about Chicago being ground zero. Chicago is my home. I'm from Chicago. And it is ground zero right now. Like I said, now they have the Bantu fighting each other. They pretty much use the looting as a way of getting Bantu to fight each other. And when we go to the Twin Flames, that's exactly what they did. They have the Hispanic and African Americans fighting each other, trying to eliminate each other. So they're very desperate to find a 144 and, and destroy the X gene. So, hey, let's just get them to kill each other. So... We got this story, 28 shot, two fatally. 28 and two is 30. 28 and two is 30, correct? So 30, kill Bantu is 30. 28 plus two is 30. Kill Bantu is 30. Kill Bantu, 30. 28 plus two. So, you know, they're putting out the message. That's the message. They want to kill the Bantu, and if they got to get you to do the dirty work, get the dirty work done for them, they will. They will get the dirty work for they get you to do your own dirty work. So 28 shot. And then they'll always take what they give you. Don't throw it away. 28 shot is 72, 27, 29, 38, the number of death, 33. So you know that might be a, a stage and rigged outcome. 72. And Black Book is 72. See see how Black Book is 72 and 28 shot, 72 and 27 has vibrates? That Black Book, that's what it's about, the name in the Black Book. Or basically, we got, to, we got to kill, we got to get rid of these black folk. We got to get rid of people with color. We got to get rid of them. They got to go. And if we got to use them, like I said, to do it, we will. But we're going to get the job done. And they really ramped up their efforts. So they're really ramping up their efforts to get the job done to get these black folk. They got to get them up out of there. So if they got to get you to kill each other, then exactly what they're going to do. So 28 shot just vibrates with kill Bantu. And we go, they also gave us two fatally. Two fatally shot. So 79, 25, 42. 42, of course, the nigga number. Takes you back. Two fatally. So 
42 the negative number. So it's what it's about. Chaos is for is too fatally. So that too fatally also vibrates with some things. Let's see if we got another vibration with this too fatally. We got 79, 25. Of course, Trump, the impeachment code of 25. Remember that? 42, the nigga, nigga number in two fatally, because that's what it is. I got uh, Hispanic niggas and African-American niggas shooting at each other, pretty much. That was pretty much the plan. So I see 79, two fatally. Sunday services, if you go to, I think that was in Sunday services of 79. So Sunday services I took because, and also when they gave me that, for Sunday services, I also went to the date for this upcoming Sunday. And I grabbed the numerology of Sunday services. So if you go to the date, Sunday is, I want to say the 7th? Yeah, so Sunday is a date with 67. So Sunday would be 6, 7, or 7, 6. He's either six, seven, or seven, six. So let's find our sixty-seven inside of what we grab from Trump. See, so we got any sixty-seven or seventy-six. So we get seventy-six on Sunday services. So that's a cold. That was a cold that was in that picture. That's why I grabbed Sunday services also and kind of separated it. I'm trying to see if I got any sixty-seven, but I think seventy-six was the cold. So always look at numbers forwards and backwards. Don't just look at them one way because cold can be hidden. These guys are masterful. So 67. Sunday is a day with 67 numerology. If you put 6 and 7 together, you get 67. So it's a date with 53 numerology and 17 and 33 numerology. So we know 53, 17 is the kill code. 17 is the kill code. You put 53 in. We're looking for properties. 53 is the 16th prime number. So if we take we got death we got kill. Put death kill in there. I wonder that. I want death. And I want kill by himself. All right, so kill is 44. We know 17. Kill is 17. So that date was 17, numerology. Death is 38, death is 20. So that's why 2020 is a lot of death. This is a year of death. Uh, 25, we got that 25 inside of death. And we also had 25 and something else that we had grabbed. Two fatally was 25, so that's the code for death. 52, death and prophecy um, vibrate, 19, 37. 60, 52, and 53. So 53, which is 16 prime number, 53 is death. So Sunday, Sunday services online. So something could take place on Sunday. Let's watch that date just because of the numbers. So it's a date with a lot of numbers, 53 and 17 numerology, 33 numerology, and 15 numerology, all on that Sunday. So Trump in the picture was posing but also dropping the message that that's going to be a day of death, possible day of death on Sunday. And we're going to see a lot of this. Because right now what's going on from on the ground reports is they just are allowing people to loot. And they uh, in certain cities, Chicago, they're pushing people in the inner city. And what that did was that caused the Hispanic community, which, you know, uh, you know, the difference in Chicago is the Hispanic community own a lot of their they own their businesses. And Chicago, you know, we own a lot of restaurants. As African Americans own a lot of restaurants, but we don't own dollar stores and stuff like that. You know, grocery stores, we used to have those things as a community. We don't really have those anymore. We don't own the way we used to. So the Hispanic community still, you know, own a lot of their stuff. 
on a lot of their stuff. See, this all our welcome with the 53 code, a death code, and all our welcome. So anybody could be killed on that day. But what happened was when the Hispanic community decided to protect their interests and African-Americans, you know, rolled down towards some of their interests to do the looting, that's when the shooting began between the two. So, you know, what's being viewed as them protecting themselves on one hand is seen as, you know, seen as an issue from an African-American standpoint. But also I heard that some people are taking advantage of that and starting a gang war inside of the city. And that's the problem with Chicago that, you know, now you get, you know, unified gang war between Hispanic gangs and African-American gangs, basically getting them to slaughter each other, which is the strategy to get a whole bunch of young young men to kill each other. So if you don't know who the, the Bantu is or the, the, the pieces of the twin flame are, then, hey, you eliminate as many as you can. So right now it's just fear. They want to eliminate as many as they can, wipe out the 144 the best they can. They don't know who the 144 is, so, hey, let's just eradicate as many as we can. And that's why Chicago is, is ground zero for all the foolishness. You hear a lot of stuff going on in other places, but most of your stuff is going to be going on in Chicago because – that is ground zero. So, a lot of stuff in the headlines as far as this, 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 um, you know, the ritual kind of picks up. But, you know, now that they, they want to use us to do the dirty work. And that's what I said when people were buying into all this foolishness that, you know, this was just them really preparing for what they wanted to do. They got to get the black book. They got to get that black book. They got to follow prophecy. They got to hunt down the 144. It's time. It's time to activate. And that's all that was with Trump, but just putting out that activation code that Sunday services, all are welcome. We got to slaughter as many people as we can. So possibility, you might see the National Guard in your cities, gun gunplay in the city streets. This is where we are. So, you know, one thing just really led to another talked about fear and anger you know being um, energies that are constantly used and they can be used against you they can be used against you you gotta remember that and moving forward you know these people play dirty they use everything they have at their disposal they use real viruses my sister went off on me because she thought I was saying the coronavirus wasn't real no that's not what I'm saying the coronavirus is real viruses are real they've been around for centuries it's not the virus that was fake it's the it was the response to the virus that was fake because viruses have been here for centuries that's why a lot of the meat packing plants and factories didn't shut down they deal with viruses every year they have to have precautions for outbreaks every year so of course they weren't going to shut down they deal with this stuff every year and if you got an airborne virus, like I've said in the past, and you watch certain movies, they will shut your town down and not tell you why you're quarantined in that time because they don't want it to spread. They got to wipe out the entire town. They will. So, you know, a lot of people drank the Kool-Aid and didn't do their research on this whole coronavirus thing. They told us to lock down and stay in, stay in place. They did that because they were moving to the next part of the ritual when they knew how the next part of the ritual was going to bleed deeper into the economy, deeper into the stresses of people, and just lead to this out this outrage. But also inside of this, you don't know who's who. Like I say, in my city, you know, they got some young folks doing it, but we really don't know who's behind this loop. We don't know if it's outside people. They're really they're just letting young people run around. And the problem in Chicago is, you know, from a gang standpoint and leadership standpoint, when you see my piece on the Bloods, there is no leadership in African American gangs. There is no leadership. No one is the leader. No one is sitting people down and saying, hey, no, cease and desist. On a Hispanic gang sign, you still got leadership. So at any time, somebody can put out a cease and desist order. But on our side, there is nobody to put out the cease and desist order. So you just got a bunch of young knuckleheads running wild thinking that this is the thing to do until um, the forces that be decide they're going to fire back. Right now, they're playing it cool. I always tell you how it is. Black man victim, and then it flips to black man perpetrator. It's coming. As soon as a police officer gets shot, it's going to flip. 
and then they're going to start gunning back. They're already gunning. And now they're already gunning, so now they're really going to start gunning. So that's what we're moving into, straight street warfare. But we told everybody this was going to take place. So don't be calling the ah, that you see the Twin Cities burning and all this other stuff. This is just a part of the same ritual we've been following. It's about the 144. And if they got to use people of color to wipe themselves out, then they'll make, a, they'll make a scenario where you're wiping each other out. That's just how the game is played. So this is a game of fear on their, their part. They're afraid of that black book that he has in his hand. They're afraid of revelation. They're afraid of prophecy. They know that their time is coming to an end. They know that the time of people in color and leadership is coming forth. That's why you see all these, these moves being made. That's why you see all these moves being made where a lot more people of color are taking power positions because they know their time is coming. Hey, l let's get with the winning team. Or try to get with the winning team before we get wiped out. So a lot of fear right now. They got the black book up. Revelation. The black book with the names in it. They gotta wipe, they gotta wipe out the 144. That's the job. So Sunday services online, all are welcome. So watch this Sunday to see if this is a very bloody day coming up this Sunday. Mr. Maki Black Road Ministry, um pretty much everybody be safe, stay sane. And, you know, don't get involved in this foolishness, man. Just keep the news off like I've been doing. And the only reason I've been really getting info is through people. And, you know, I have to do certain things to safeguard certain members of my family because, you know, I'm my family is in ground zero where it's going to get hectic. So definitely make sure you safeguard your family. Put those that can't protect themselves in situations where they'll be protected. Mr. Mockley, Back Road Ministry, peace.